my great granddad was an old mule skinner. My granddad started breaking horses between riding bucking horses and working in a feed yard and cowboying is really all I know. They want everything done fast, quick, and right. Don't know that. You know, without college rodeo, I probably wouldn't have went to college myself. You know, sometimes I wonder why the good Lord put me here, but um, I think that I've made a few, you know, I've helped a few kids in life change maybe the path they're going down. I grew up in uh, Littleton, Colorado. It's kind of the uh, the southwest corner of Denver. I've been riding bareback horses, what I ride. I've been doing that about uh, three years now. I always wanted to be a cowboy since I was a real little kid. And uh, just, I, I guess, I actually started out doing a little bit of trick riding and uh, things like that. The guy offered to get me on a bareback horse and I tried that out and I really liked it. So I kind of stuck with it. It's, it's like dancing, you know? I mean, dancing's really not complicated emotions, but to be able to do it, you know? In time with the music and in time with the person that you're dancing with is, is the hard part of it. It's when you when you get a good pretty ride, it, it looks pretty good. Uh, whoever can kind of place his feet highest in the neck and spur back to your rigging and set your feet back down and just look under control and not look like you're just taking a yank and there's it. When your head goes to doing this. And as far as the equipment goes, it's kind of kind of spartan. Yeah. You can see I've got a vest in here. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of like a flak jacket that you might see a SWAT team or someone sure. wearing. Personally, I have a thinner strap because I just like mine to fly around and dress it up. But those will help kind of save you from getting banged up and whatever too. See this glove? Is a uh, it's a real thick glove. It's, it's your best friend when you're riding because uh, one of the most dangerous things in bear riding is if your hand comes out early, you know, straight out the back. That's how my buddy got hurt just a couple weeks ago. You know, then you're it's right where that horse is kicking out and it's where the most power is at. And the bareback riding, especially one of the unfortunate things, is it, it beats on your elbow a bunch. So uh, kind of beats on everything. <laughs> you know, if you ever been to a rodeo, you might hear the announcer say, it's "Like holding on to a suitcase handle is always holding on to there." And fill your suitcase full of 1,200 pounds of weights and throw it out of the window from the five-story motel. Mm -hmm. You know, and the idea is not to fall off. Yeah, that's a game plan. It's pretty tough. I mean, they some of them they struggle with it. Just trying to go to school, or, you know. And then they're trying. Some of them will try to work and come to practice. Some of them don't make it. <laughs> some of them just can't make it through. A lot of them do. Basically, just goes back to the Western Heritage way of doing things. You know, it's it's not like they're it's not like we're going to get a lot of money out of this deal. It's it's something we love to do and. We did it.